R-S-V-P Talk R-S-V-P Talk You got it, you need it R-S-V-P Talk Talk by the time you know Hey, what is going on? I know it's been a little while, but you know, my uh, co-host cannot make it today. So I have a phenomenal co-host, because once again, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the infamous, the celebrity, you know, Israel, he's going to be joining me today. Hello, Lars. Hello, la- hello, there, governor. Hello, governor. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be, you know, a Miss O, Israel, good times, good jokes. And we're not worried about cast because once again it is my show. This is two shows in a row now. That and if I get more views and cast, it's be a right. replacement. We might, there might be. Then it's, you know, because he likes to talk about how it's his show, and you know, it's all about him, it's all about me, and blah blah blah. It's about me, right? So what's going on, world? My <coughs> handsome host. Look how handsome he is, right? He's gonna, he's gonna hate on it. So what's, you know, so tell us a little bit about um, you, Mr. A little bit about me, I guess, moving here to Orlando about two years ago. We've been doing everything from music videos to okay. starting a little web series that is still in the, the works. Okay. Today's throwback. So hopefully, throwback. Right. we got one episode right now. Hey, hopefully, you know. <laughs> you know Hopefully, all my editors get get into into working on it. And so basically, you're blaming your editors right no, now. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. it's, it's around, okay because sometimes around. they just be slacking. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta get on top of them, or are you not paying them? They're not paid. Oh, okay. Well, then they. Need I to mean, but if we blow up, who's the first to get paid? Though, think about that. Right? So. Oh, that's how we're doing it. You just get phone calls Sorry. when we're on, like we're live. We we I. You know what? Let me just put mine on vibrate. You know when when. <laughs> When you're a little bit more famous than Cass, your phone goes up. Oh! That's, that's a lot of shade. That's a lot of shade. Okay. So you're like an actor? Um, I've done a couple short films here and independent films. Um, I'm networking a little bit with the surrounding Florida area. And now you said that you did some short films. Like, Are you talking about like... Dirty films that I can no. and Google because I, really, I would definitely, you I, know, I mean, I would definitely look at it. You know, I watch porn like it is a movie. You know, I, I look at it and I check out the cinematography and whether or not it's believable. I mean, I've been offered, yeah, but just kidding. Uh, you <laughs> meant that. Listen, this is a safe place. No one's going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. No, I'm just the little independent films. I mean, we are in the area of like. Especially down in this okay. area, we have a lot of full cell UCF, you know, mm-hmm. the Disney and Universal students, and all everybody that works there has a little background in film and in film production. So a lot, most of the people actually that I've met from Universal Studios and from Disney okay. came and are interested in working there just because they're so connected to the industry. So a lot of people, surprisingly, that work in Universal Studios and Disney are filmmakers. Oh. And a lot of people don't really I never people, put one in one together. Who work at Universal? I, I, well, I know the, like one guy. He's like a stunt actor. He was a stunt actor at Universal, and now he's doing like a whole bunch yeah, of like stuff, like commercials. And but he's very talented. Like I've worked with him like for a couple of fashion shows. He's he's a, a talented young man. And I, I met another girl. She's a dancer. Right? She does yeah. like, she does like a lot of dance outside of that, and she's slowly taking. I know a lot of people from there that have actually came out and done bigger things. You know, I think that Universal is like Disney, right? Is everybody's first job, right? And everybody knows. Yeah, I mean, and, and if you're good <laughs> at it, and if you're good at it, then, you know, you take it and if you're an actor, you take it and run with it. Right. And, yeah. Oh, but, okay. I mean, I don't want for Universal or Disney. Unless oh, they want to. a lot of plug, you know, unless they want to. You know, on the yeah. show, and they ain't cut no checks. They cut no checks. You know, so. No um, checks. Zero. So what else have you been up to? Have you, um, wait, did you go to Nude Night? Because that's a very. Did not go to Nude Night. I've been wanting to go for like years. As long as I've been here, I tell myself, I didn't I'm even, going to Nude Night. You I have just introduced me to Nude Night. What is Nude Night? Oh, oh my. Okay, so Nude Night is like this thing that usually have around Valentine's Day. And it's basically a great big art ex- expedition. Right? No, that's not the right word. Right? Well, big art show, right? And it's basically where people are showing like different 
forms of like nudity and sex and you know you're embracing all of that sometimes they have like you know women in body pain you know or there's like you know like um great big you know like artwork about the human body and human sexuality and you just kind of embrace so it's like it you know? of life. something like that you know what i mean like like no one is doing it you know what i mean you know like you may have like so there's no point in doing it what? I mean, you, you said nobody's doing it. Well, I mean, no one's going to be like, I mean, you can, but why would you? It's, it's against the law to be getting all hanky panky like that unless you go into a separate place for that. But it's just about expressing art about sex, yeah. right? And it's great for couples, yeah. you know. Um, I know a couple models have done it. I mean, you know, I, I think I met like one who's a sushi model and she was just laying there naked, you know. Like, sushis. Yeah, you know, or you know, or and they're I mean, like the hanging from the, the fish wall. Like you shame. know, like the people yeah. who like the like the, <laughs> like the um, they like the, like the piercings and stuff like that, and the ropes and the, you know, very fifty oh, shades of gray. Type. Yeah, and so, then they're yeah. hanging from the wall, and they're just you know looking. No, but fifty shades of gray. Yo, Did you I, watch it? I saw the movie. Did you, Did you see it? I mean, I didn't bother seeing it because the first one disappointed me. Okay. Because I expected to come out of there with a fucking notebook of like notes and shit. <laughs> I expected to like. I expected him to like have this bitch hanging from this fucking from a okay. helicopter. Okay. You know, I I expected like some intense shit. Okay, so I okay, I agree with you. I watched the first one on a plane to go to California. Okay. I was doing some work stuff. Should have seen the secretary. Should have right? seen the secretary great kinky ass movie. I'm, well, I'm gonna have to write that one down. And um, so I was watching it on a plane. On my Kindle, because I was like, Psh, it's gonna be like a long flight. And this like lady was sitting next to me, and I was like, look at this nosy hooker trying to watch my movie for free, right? Did so she like, hold your hand at some point? But no, because you know, like, like, like you know how when you're looking and they looking like this, and I was like, I'm turning it on an angle because I don't need you to be in my business, right? And I didn't care that there was like kids on the plane, you know, and they're peering over the seat, then they need to be sitting there yeah. down. So, Shit can happen on an airplane. Right? Turbulence, you know? Yeah, you know, so I was like, let me just watch, you know, let me just critique it. So the first one, yes, I would say that there was, um, there's a lot of things that needed to be done, right? With that movie. Like, the acting was whack, right? It, you know, like, it was just, it was just bad. But the second time around, I think, was a whole lot better than the first one. And there were certain parts, I was like, well, excuse me. I like that movie. Let me, right? Let me let me jot some notes, right? Record like, it and leak it. You, you know, no, I mean like you know, like there was some interest there was some interesting stuff. Like, you know, clearly he likes to, you know, own, you know, he likes to you know possess and own women, you know, she's trying to break him out of that, right? I'm gonna change you. And um but the one thing that I did notice and I was like, why is it that every time they're doing it, he always got his pants on, right? Or slightly pulled down. And I find it to be a little Maybe he dis tucks it like between his like no. waistband and it just seems like very um yeah. very high school, right? When you're trying to get a quick one. I just wanna pull my pants all the way down. It's gonna just pull it just past my ass and then I'm gonna fuck you that way. Oops, sorry. But that's how I felt like the first like 30 minutes, I'm like, did he have sex again? Like what like what else like what else is happening in his relationship? So Nothing. in the very beginning I found the point, point of the movie. Well, no, the point of the movie is I was trying to figure out as to why he always had his pants only passing like only pulled down to to his buttocks. Like what is happening? Maybe he has them like skinny white boy chicken legs. I just thought yeah, No, <laughs> homegirl be like homegirl be full on butt ass naked and his ass be having his like his pants pulled down. Uh uh, I'm gonna need you to get all the way naked, right? You supposed to be getting it, you know, you supposed to be getting it in. I'm gonna need you to get all the way, right? So that was one part. Then, but the only part that I truly liked, right, which was I, I was like, wow. So you know, he's like, you know, like a, you know, dominant, you know, he's like, you know, like yeah. a dom. And you know, this girl is she stalking him because you know she likes to be a submissive, right? She she comes in there, she's holding the gun and she's shooting and everybody. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you know how it is, a psycho chick, you know, she don't appreciate you moving on, and she, you know, and she still want the D, and she shows up like, I ain't nobody getting the D but me, right? So, it was one of those type of moments, and, you know, so, you know, she so comes in and saves the day, right? And she's shaking, <sighs> and he goes to her, he was like, he grabs the gun, right, and tells her to kneel, right? He's like, kneel, and she kneels, and at that point, I was like, yo... 
That's kind of that's that's kind of sexy. Right? How? <laughs> he has a gun. Or they, they, there's what? guns involved. What? There's nothing sexy about guns. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm from just, Chicago. I know. No, I'm just saying yeah. that you know, like he grabbed the gun away from her, right? Because she's not gonna kill the guy that she still want to be intimate and have him control her, right? She wasn't doing that. That's so fucking scary. But like you know, after he grabbed the gun from her, right, and she's just kind of looking like. What do I do now? Because, but once he told her, he was like, kneel. And she just kneeled. Did he like, have the gun at that point? Yeah, yeah. He had the gun and gave it to security. Tells her to kneel, right? With a So gun. security was there watching? Well, you know, because, you know, again, it's a hostile situation, right? It's hostile, right? You got to talk about. But he told her to kneel in front of her security? Yeah, in front of his girl, right? You know, like, you know, the girl that he's dating. Yeah. And then, you know, security comes in. So now he has the gun, you know, and then, you know, because again, you got to talk off the ledge. Give me the gun. She, he grabs the gun, gives it to security, and t after that's all done, she tells her to kneel. Oh, I thought security was still there and he was like, bitch, kneel. You know, no, right no. Right here in front of everybody. No, 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 no. He took, her, he took the <laughs> gun away and tells the girl to kneel. And at that point, the, there's a lot of things going on with that movie. I was like, ah, I don't know. What, ah, should I just keep watching? But at that point, I was like, hmm, I like that. I enjoy well, that. I enjoyed that. That is that's authoritative and to the point, Neil. And she was like there, and he pet her like a dog, and I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. You is there like anything like does like now, I, now that you said you know Neil and you pet her like a dog? I wonder how like feminists feel about this. It's just, I bet you they probably like <laughs> roll over in their grave. Ain't no woman no dog. You don't be telling them what to do. You know I'm a woman. Him roar. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But hey, everybody. Whatever folks you vote in the bathroom, that's what you like to do, that's what you like to do. And every now and again, you know... Batons. You know, batons. You, you know, I mean, he used that. He had Tasers. one. Tasers. That's a little too far. Hey, listen. If that what rocks you, you know, listen. I remember, like, when I... Like, okay, so, you know, I'm an independent model. And um, I remember I would, like, get, like, these requests. Oh, wait a minute. Movie? You know what? Oscars? I know. Remember that? I know, I know. But wait, I'll tell you the story after a little commercial break. Because it's a very interesting story. You know, um, so don't forget to check out our website, rsvtalk.com. You know, we got more coming from Israel, you know, um, and definitely, definitely check out our Instagram at rsvtalk and definitely check out our fan, you know, our fan page, rsvtalk. You see, I keep it simple. That way I ain't no trying to figure out what's what. Hit us back. I'm trying to like, move my hands so down. You're trying to figure out what's going on. You're the first time on the show, so forgive me. <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. Because we're going to talk about our hands. That's how we do in Jersey. Just can we just talk? It's, I, my mom's Spanish, so. Oh, yeah, your mom's I've, Spanish? Seen, I've seen that, but usually I flinch when she. You know, you're like, ah, 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 flash Exactly. Back, flash back. That's, right now I'm suffering from withdrawal with you doing all that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Check us back. What? That's how we're doing like a I know, we're like. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're back. We're just filming. We're just dancing for no goddamn reason. You know, we have our own music. It's a Latin thing. You know what I mean? We just have our music. It's like in our soul. You know, so you So, okay, back to the story. So, I'll make it real quick. Um, so, you know, in my beginning of my modeling career, you know, I would get requests yes. from photographers or whatever to do like these fetish type shoots. You know, one of them would be to, you know, kick a guy in the balls, you know, right, yeah, they'd be like, Did oh, you ever do any of those? No. You, right. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> this is my oh, God. Uh, 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 no. Uh, How I, many? No, I never did it. I never did it. No, I did not. You know, it's just, you know, it's kind of weird. I mean, it wasn't enough money. Let's just talk about that, right? But if there was enough money. It was enough money. I have no problems kicking any money in the balls. Listen, you want me to kick you in the balls? Then so be it. That's a lie. Boom. You're right. Women just love kicking guys in the balls. It's just, it's like a you pastime know, for you guys. You know, I mean, but you have to be careful because I don't know if you're like, you know, a class five creeper, you know what I mean? Or Clint, you don't have to be very, well, Any you know, guy that's willing to get kicked in the balls is fucking creeper. I'm, I'm just gonna, saying, that's that should that be like, you know, hurts. very like 50 shades of grayish, right? No, it's not. And then, that's like 95 shades. To be honest. <laughs> And then, like, you know, I had, like, um, someone who wanted me to talk to them, like, basically belittle them, you know, and just basically yell at them, like, oh, you ain't this, you ain't that, and what, you know, it's a, it's a whole fetish thing, right? What kind of modeling gigs are you getting? No, I'm just saying in the very beginning, you know, I would, you know, because you're, you know, if you're independent, you're just trying to, like, fill people out, you know, people may like your look, 
and be like, oh, you know, I, you know, I would love it if you did X, Y, and Z. You know, and I'm Talk like, to me dirty. you know, I'm like, oof. Spit on my face. And I'm like, you want me to do what? You want me to yell at you and make you cry? I like to do, you know, I like to make people cry, but I don't, I, you know, that's kind of like, nah, you know what I mean? That sounds like I'm going to get snatched up and put in the back of a van and then locked up in a cage and they can never see me again type of thing. So, kind of like stayed away from that, that whole fetish I world. I would too, that's weird. And it's kind of creepy, you know? So, just letting you know, like, you know, I know that you said that you want your, your family who's thinking I about doing modeling. I have thinking about it. You we know? have good genes, you know? Yeah. Look, 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 look at all that, yeah. right? So, exactly. I'm just saying, there's like these things that are out there, like this like whole world of fetish, right? It's like this whole thing, you know, it's a whole genre. There's money to be made. I know a couple of fetish models, they make good money, well, you know? Was, they but they, it's a I business, mean, really. They, right. The fetish industry is fucking huge. You know, sex sells. But, um, so, did you watch the Oscars? I watched parts of the Oscars. Okay. Um, Walking Dead was on, so I just caught highlights. Right. Exactly. So I watched <laughs> parts of the Oscars. Right. I mean, the majority of the reason why is because, you know, like, I, I, I as, you know, an, I guess you could say as an independent actor, as somebody who likes the mm -hmm. art, I feel like you shouldn't praise the Oscars because a lot of the time it's a lot of wine and, and dining, really. Is it? Yeah, I mean, a lot. And it's been... I thought it was like, you know, there was a survey that got sent out, right? And then... So, you know, you know, I mean, to, to a whole bunch of people and then be like, oh, okay, yes, you know, I did see that, you know, like, you know, like a panel that watches all these movies and be like, yeah, I do agree and I don't agree. If I have the That panel does exist, but you got to give them like, you know, lobster lunch, you know, lobster. you got to take them out for coffee a couple really? times. Yeah. Oh. I mean, and that's just. See, I'm, I'm still, I'm still learning, you know, I mean, and, or, me being or, an actor, I just, I, I got benefit, time to be schmoozing. Or benefit a couple, you know, million dollars towards whatever their cause donation or charity is that, so do you think that's the, like the reason why like Leonardo DiCaprio hasn't won an Oscar like he's won an Oscar right? I mean he's one that, that probably hasn't because he he is the type of person who keeps himself alive he won an Oscar alive. last year he, like, he finally won an Oscar finally finally and I think that he's a well, I mean if you think, think about, about it uh, actor. Joaquin Phoenix he's deserved it multiple times right and he's never gotten it so are you saying that they're not schmoozing and you know they, they just, they just feel like listen, don't, don't you're gonna have to just it. like me for my art. I like my art exactly. speaks for itself. Yeah. I mean I love I mean I love Viola Davis. I think that she's a phenomenal yeah. actress, a she's strong, a, she's amazing, strong black actress. I'm sorry. She, she is, she's she, amazing. She, you know I I just love her work. You know I I just I, I you know and I just think that she's very deserving of you know of everything. Yeah. You know even um you know Tahari right. P. Henson, you know, yeah, she's like, you know, she's totally getting, you know, she's getting them awards. And the, the, the crazy thing about it is like right now, it's like minority um, roles are becoming more Oscar nominated and more praised right. than ever before. And it's amazing. You know, it's, it's, I mean, it just makes me remember like back in film, in film class, mm -hmm. like studying film when um, Brando sent in a Native American to pick up his Oscar. Right, yeah. You know, just because he wanted to do a statement and it's like all coming towards you know progression in film and at this point i feel mm -hmm. like with all these independent like i guess outlets of film right it either be netflix hulu crackle you know the but industry is just going to blow up and, and grow and the same thing with the music industry if you look at chance the rapper he just recently won chance the kid the kid from chicago who only always wears a three hat oh Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I was being like... He doesn't sell any of his music. It's all free on um, SoundCloud. Oh, that's nice. I mean, is he making millions or, or he gets he's making, he's make, he just from, turned, from, from, he recently advertising. turned down. He recently turned down $10 million from a... From Why? a undisclosed, you know... What was the reason? Recording studio. Because he didn't want to sell his art. He wanted... So how is he making money? Let's talk about that. How is he making money? Oh, okay. Uh, commercial. He has, he has... That's right. He has a, a Kit Kat commercial. Yes! Okay, yes, yes, yes. So he's making his money through commercial yeah. outlets, not so much about... <clears> not so much about the, the, okay. the record industry. Oh, it's another, you know, it's another, you know, you know, it's like that. Like, I saw, like, the whole, uh, did you see, like, the whole, like, fiasco that happened? The very, um, uh, God, very C. Harvey. Oh, I And I kind of yeah. just feel like once, you know, I'm not sure whether or not it was intentional. You know, hey, I think it was you know what? Um, people make mistakes, but damn, can Moonlight just get theirs though? Moonlight was a shit. Can they just get their moment? Why they gotta share the stage? Oh, I don't know why. Well, the thing What's is happening? Get your ass off the damn stage. Yeah. Like I was well, kind of like. I like the way 
like I like the way they they um the, the, the they're producers, investigating it. Right? Well, no, I like the way the producers handed the 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 award. Right. They did it in such a slick way to where it didn't insult anybody. Basically, they're like, oh, this isn't a joke here, have your award. Right. They didn't say, oh, hell no, this is mine, you know, they didn't... Well, they weren't going to do that. <laughs> I mean, but, you know but I mean, mean, something like that, the way, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people would have figured it out later or whatever. Oh, after you know, the fact? After and the, the fact. Right but I like how the producers came out right in the beginning and said, look, there was a mess up. Here's right. your award. You guys rightfully deserved it. I you know I, I didn't watch Moonlight but I heard it was a I, well, yeah. I heard it was a, like a phenomenal story yes. right um, was it like a, about a young black man trying to figure out his way and, and, and mm -hmm. he gets, it like, yeah it touches like all yeah. sorts of political issues right now right it's like it's like fuck you Trump on the face <laughs> uh, it is it's like yeah. it's a movie about what is what, what is what they say about Get Out like, <laughs> yeah oh Get Out um, you know uh, what's his name. Um, what is He's um, Peel. Oh, no. um, yeah, Jason. No, no, not not, not Jason Peel. Peel. It's uh, Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Yeah. In a horror movie, Get Out grows about thirty million dollars, and then I haven't seen it because I'm just like. <sighs> Have you ever seen any of his like comedy stuff? I like I like Keanu, right? Yeah. And only because like the cat is really cool, and there's like parts of that because movie. Of cat, really? Yeah. Well, really you know cat, what? Really? The big cat was so cute, and really? and, and plus, I like Keanu, right? I like Keanu Reeves. And uh, and then I you know I, I know that he's really funny. He's done a lot of comedy stuff, and I think him in general is funny. You know, it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I think he's done like some other stuff that I've seen mm. that you know. He, he he's um, what is it? Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, King and Peele. Their their show is just they. Are they it, are, are, are they like a David Chappelle light? They're like. Is, is a white, ver a whitish version of Dave Spell. So Dave Spell. Because they, like they are, they are like they're interracial. Yeah. So, so they do have that aspect from, hey, look, we're half white, but we're half black, so we can give you that so, two sided comedy. So, so Dave Chappelle light. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's what I. That's what I was. It's saying. a, it's a light skinned David Chappelle. Light skinned. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Am I allowed to say light skinned? I think you can say that. I mean, it's better than saying high yellow. You know what I mean? Because people be like, what? What? What about red bone? Can I say red bone? You can. But In the right word? Well, I mean, in the right context. No, can I say I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? We're Latino, so you know what I'm saying. That's true. You know, but I mean, I'm so... Um, they even say that his movie is, you know, is very like underhand, like, like political about, you know, about racism <coughs> oh, yeah. and, you know, and about I mean, privilege, in, you know. And King and Bill, they use a lot of uh, racial... Actually, I think all of Keenan Peele is racial. Oh well, but, you know, sometimes racial comedy is always funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you can't laugh at your own at yourself, then you should crawl under a rock. And it was thirty million dollars, and it's a low budget movie, and they were surprised. It's like I think it's one of the few movies that got like you know high praise from Rotten Tomatoes. And quite honestly, I don't really go by them. You know, I can tell by a preview as to whether or not a movie is going to be good or not. Yeah. I could just look. Through a preview, and I'm like, no, that movie's gonna be black, right? Like, like the Logan movie that's coming out, that shit right? Is awesome. And quite honestly, I'm gonna see it because I'm an X Men fan, and I just need to just kind of finish watching the whole Logan series. Yeah. But I kind of feel like, like the movie itself is gonna be weak as far as like content and I and think like, it's gonna be amazing. Well, I think the action parts are gonna be amazing. I think. As far as like the content though, it's gonna be weak. It's gonna be a weak you movie. Think so? I think so. I don't think so because I mean, there's the. It's gonna be. It's gonna be it's action gonna be super pass. dark, you know, just by the trailer because you see all this blood in it. So I they're just, they're taking. I feel like they're taking a death pool sort of like griminess. Uh, right. But I, I'm but interested in to see what the relationship not, between him and the young lady is gonna be. I think. Well, because I know that's not his daughter. I know that. Yeah. And um, either way, I'm not buying it, right? Um, I'm just not buying it. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to watch it, but I feel like it's going to be kind of like, eh, you know? And then I'm going to be like, oh, it's so whack. And, you know, thank God for the action. It kind of saved me from falling asleep, right? Because, you know, <laughs> some movies I kind of pass out and be like, what happened? I fall asleep all the time. You know? I mean, like, you know, I fell asleep in that last um, Star Wars movie. I did. I kind of like passed out and woke up when things started to get good. I was like, wow. That usually is what I was up. like, like wow. You're a I, when like, oh, wow. like, how long was I gone for? You know, but it was, it, you know, when it, it was a good movie. You know who else? Do you, do you watch The Big Bang Theory? I, wa I, I used to watch it. Oh, okay. 
Well, when, you know, when series get too long. Like, when it gets too long. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, so you know how like um, friends, when everybody wanted more money, yeah. they decided to like, we we ain't about that life and we're going to just cancel the damn show. Yeah. Right? So it's like, so so they're having like the same situation. The, you know, the, the young lady uh, who played Blossom, who was a neuro, she's a neuroscientist in real life, which I am so baffled that she went back to acting. So her and the other young lady that plays... They want more money? Well, they should get more money because they're only making like $200,000 per episode while the rest of the only? five... Yeah, only. Well, the other crew, like the original five, are making a million dollars an episode, right? Because well, they're the original five. Yes, but you know what? Instead of trying to hold... I mean, they just got... Um, Got you know, got another you know extended their because everybody knows if you've watched the show from the beginning, you're not watching it because of these two new cats. Well, I mean, it's, it's like me watching Seinfeld and then replacing them with yeah, Jimmy but, oh, but but you know like but if they I mean they add value to the show right and you know and I, and and I, and I think at some or point they? well they do but you know what as you know like like what I think of you know like how friends should have had it like the cast members come together and be like okay well she's not making as much as you know making as much as us. Right? Maybe it's poor negotiation. That's not my problem. But what they, the cast, has decided to do is just kind of take a slight pay cut okay. so that they can have more money. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, if you're there for hours on end and you're sitting there like, well, I got me a million dollars, like, I could not show up. And then they're really making their money on, you know, on the syndication. So I just think that that's well, great I, as far as the cast members kind of come together. Just like Keanu Reeves, right? The Matrix made Boku money. Right, yeah. and Keanu was just like, you know what? It's not, it's not just me, right? Yes, I'm, you know, he's a so-so actor, right? But he has his moments. But he decided to take his money and pay the people who did all that oh, yeah. cool cinematography like with the work. Yeah, he did that with the Matrix. He gave up like five hundred million dollars to all the CGI and effects people. Yeah, because they're doing all of that yeah. work. You know, that's like that. The post-editing work is what really makes or breaks works, a yeah. movie. So I just think that you know. Um, Good job for you guys um, for sharing that money. Yeah. And if you think about it, you're in the Big Bang Theory. I've never seen anybody from the Big Bang Theory do anything else. That's I'm, not true. I'm, I'm just saying. Well, okay. Well, well, you know what? No, Sheldon was on was on an HBO movie, right? And his name is not Sheldon, but you know, I just call him Sheldon. Exactly. That's what you I know, mean. But, He's always gonna be known as Sheldon. But Sheldon's. you know, because you know, I'm you know what? I'm just bad with people names in general, right? So if I've ever seen your movie. Right? I'd be like, oh, Sheldon! He'd be like, that's not my name. I'm like, I'm sorry. But it's like Harry Potter, that kid. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I would call him Harry Potter in real life. Exactly. Right? But They're going to be known for the Big Bang for the rest of her life. That's fine. But he was in this movie. Actually, he was like on, on an HBO movie about the, um, think about the gay rights, the gay rights and AIDS or something like that. It was a really good movie. And, it, you know, so I remember him seeing that. And then, you know, the guy from, you know, Roseanne. It took me a minute to figure out who he was. But I was like, oh, that's Roseanne. You know, like the little boy. You know, but I'm just saying. But anyway, um, you know what else is interesting? Um, what's her name? You know, Katherine Jackson. Oh, she's suing her nephew. Yes. Yes. You know, it's bad with family. You know, you like you gotta sue family. Yeah. And uh, so basically, she is saying, you know, she they, they were in court today, right? She got. <laughs> You suing family, I, uh, and you got like a you know a, a thing. You can't be within a hundred miles, you know, hundred yards I, of me. You can't even go to a family picnic now. You know, pretty you know much. You ruined <laughs> the Michael Jackson family picnic. Now I don't know if that's a good thing, but yeah, you know. I mean, well, she's citing that he's abusive, you know, el you know, you know, elderly abuse, and she's giving like her money. Oh, a hundred. I don't know. She's old lady, but you old know, so? she's a little old. You know, you know, you know, she's a you know health issue. Are you? Are you saying that we gotta go? Is that is this is this what's going on? You trying no, to rush me? Let me, me have off? my moment. Okay? You know we're talking about Catherine let Jackson. Let me have my moment. Mrs. We haven't even got to Mrs. Mrs. Michael Jackson. Chelsea Affleck and his you know what I mean? weird shit. But I mean, but but fucking whip your dick out at women on set. feel like it's oh you know hey you know Fuck we, you. we gotta pay the bills you know we gotta just. He's go trying to be like Woody Allen. Ah. Fucking. <laughs> But we talk, okay, you know what, I, I see I see the other producer like, are you serious? So we're going to come back for our commercial break, and since we got to go, check us out at rvtalk.com yes. real quick. Boop, 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 real quick. You see how, you see? We can get back to dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is going on? 
I know we're like, back from commercial. We're back. You know, we're back. We're you know, we basically do a movie reviews today, right? Um, and that's fine, you know, because we have an actor. We're gonna talk about yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. And, the Oscars just passed. You know, the whole Moonlight thing. You know, I mean, you know, oh, I mean, I know. You see, well, you're not familiar with like Remy Ma, right? Okay, so, yeah. I mean, I. So. I know a little bit about her, but not really. You know, like, she's eh. you know she's an old school rapper from back in the day that got um, you know she was doing you know she was you know big you know as far as female rappers go right as far as far as female. I mean, I know go, she, she she's she, married to Papoose and that's yeah she's you know she, yeah she's married to Papoose and she has you know she has a sick flow. It was she was not my favorite rapper you know because back then you had you had her you had Eve right little Kim was my girl all about that you know you had um, Homegirl Foxy Brown. Yeah. You know, um, as far as the rappers go. So then she goes to jail, right? She, you know, she, I think she beat somebody down. She goes to jail. Pistol whip somebody? Yeah, pistol whip. And then I think she that's ends exactly up, what happened, too. She and, literally, you know, child, I mean. or, or maybe she didn't want to snitch. I have no idea. But then she ends up going to jail, right? And Pat, who's her man, still by her the entire time. Most you know, men. He has to. Well, I know. I mean, have you seen Pat Boos? Pat Boos is not. Ugly. He looks like a bearded dragon. He, he is not an ugly dude. I think he. Really? I, you know what I mean? You know. I he mean, looks like those two little creatures from Men in Black. Well, he ain't that skinny. You know, he don't got. You know, he don't have a. But the two little creatures aren't that skinny either. They have bellies. Yeah, but he doesn't really have a belly. He's just you know he works out. You oh, know, I not, mean he has a. Pat Boos. He has a sick flow. I mean he's not. He has really, a sick flow. You know he's not really doing much. I don't think he's rapping like that. But so Remy, you know. Um, comes out of jail and she ends up being on, on, on Love and Hip Hop New York, right? So kind of, you know, reintroduce. Well, I just think that at the end of the day, you've been in jail for so long. Yeah, I mean, just she was like, I think, I think she was like, a, like on some BET cipher type thing, and that was pretty nice. Um, and you, you have to, yeah. I mean, it was it was good they they did one together. So I think that you in jail and now you gotta come out and try to get yourself back into They're the swing I think one of us has a booger or something. Right? Is it Our producers booger, are right? laughing out of us. So, um, so she comes out, she goes in, you know, Love and Hip Hop New York, and everybody watches the show, they love her. They're like, oh my god, Remy Ma, Papoos, Black Love, Black Unity, right? They're a great couple together, they finally got married. Boom, right? So then she disses the only female rapper that's in the game, that's in, like, that's in the but game even right now. But shouldn't even own no, no, I, I totally agree, but she's the only female rapper. She right? raps? About well, she raps and talks. I don't know. She, you know, she's, she ain't singing, <laughs> but she That's rapping. Right you know, so, like so like, so like when, um, so when, uh, Little Kim went after Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. right? And then Nicki Minaj, like, responded, right? So she went in well, on the She Ether, you know, just yeah. basically taking a, a, you know, homage to Nas well, and Ether. Remy Ma, Remy Ma, I yeah. know she's a fucking lyricist. Right. And if she's married to Pat Poops, no matter what Kim comes after, because, I mean, uh, Nicki Minaj, yeah. no matter what Nicki Minaj does, she knows that she has Pat Poops on her side. And yeah. Pat Poops being such a great rapper, he can literally ghostwrite anything that Remy does and will destroy so Nicki you, on any day. So you're saying that Pat Poos is ghostwriting? I'm not saying that he's ghostwriting. I'm saying that it's if possible. if Kim was to say something, he, he can. And he will destroy Kim. Not Nicki. No, or not, not he Kim, will destroy Nicki. Nicki. Right. Well, um, he will, so... Literally, he will destroy her alphabetically. <laughs> so, like, what's crazy... You know, she, she, you know, she gave her 48 hours, got 40 hours to respond. You know what she's doing? What she, is she a fucking terrorist? Well, you, you know, know, 48 I, hours to answer yeah. this message or I will... Well, you know, when, I, like, 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 like when it comes to rap battles, yeah. right? You're like, oh, you got like 12 hours even, to, you know, to you know, go into the studio. You know what? You, can, you, know you what have I to book love? studio time. You have to do shit. Yeah, hey, listen, you if got all, on tour. Listen, if you got all that money, you should, you should be able to do it just like that. You, yeah, but even Eminem took his time to fucking come back at people. I don't think that he took like... You know, it's been past 48 hours. You know, someone gives you a time limit, you try to respond during that time. You know what she's doing? She's making mu a music video, oh, yeah. post them on Instagram. Well, she's that's not, that's, she's not giving her no that's time. That's Nicki Minaj is shit. I'm, so, I'm sorry if you're a Nicki Minaj fan, but fuck. Her music well, is garbage. Well, I also feel like if I, was, if I was Nicki Minaj, right, and I'm, you know, and I'm making my billions and trillions, like, my, my, you know, I'm making my money. Right, and you've been in jail for seven years, and you're trying to come at me. Of course, or she's of course, you're coming at me, right? Because I'm I'm hot to the game. If I give you any type of anything, right, it makes you more popular. Or I mean, she's right? probably. I mean, if you think about it, she's probably taking a Drake 
offense, basically, or defense. Because Drake, what he does is everybody knows, not get a ghostwriter. Every, everybody, like, everybody knows he's he's up front with all his emotions and all his flaws. Right. And when somebody comes at him, he's like, "Well, I, I, it's there. You can't diss me if there's something I said or something that is obviously I'm." Well, uh, or you could say because people call him a weak rapper, right? Because he he, cause showed, he sings, because right? he sings his <laughs> shit, right? But you really, when people dissed him, he never came back with it, and he's still the shit today because he is about what he talks about. You know, he cries about fucking being on the phone at three in the morning. <laughs> I mean, but you really can't diss him because he was the first one to admit it. Right. Yeah, I was crying about this girl. Where are my tissues? You know? Right. Maybe but, that's what Nicki Minaj is doing. She well, like, I mean, okay. I think that, you know, that some of the things that she was saying was um, very personal. You know, personal yeah. street gossip and stuff like that. But, you know, I understand. You know, uh, I mean, I, I appreciate Remy's, ly you know, lyrical flow. At the end of the day, you're just, you just trying to just make sure you you try to stay relevant. Yeah. Right? And I can't get mad at you trying to stay relevant. Am I surprised that, you know, if Nicki Minaj doesn't respond? I'm not surprised either because she's like, well, I'm going to go make it relevant. Hell, you trying to get on my status. And I just feel like, that's what I, that's you, what know, I mean by that. like, you know, what? or I just can't find enough ghostwriters to write my shit. So well, that's what I mean by that. Like, like, Nicki Minaj is probably just playing the defense. Like, oh, those are all my flaws, but look at all the achievements that I've done. Why should I come yeah. back at you? You know, that's basically what Drake has done. You know, he's like, yeah, everybody disses Drake left and right. But he's like, didn't but he, look at my achievements. But didn't he, you know, look, like, the whole thing went down, didn't he... I mean, he did go after. I mean, he never really went after anybody that meant anything. He still hasn't gone after Common, and every time he does go after somebody, it's like subliminals. He never... Oh, okay. The only person he's gone after was Meek Mill. Oh, because... And Meek Mill falls down three steps. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> You're like, ooh, Meek Mill. Yeah. Oh, it's bad. So you were talking about Casey Affleck? Yes, because cool. before we went on break, we were talking about that. Apparently, yeah. I don't know, you know, I you know, I forget that Ben Affleck, his you know, his brother, his like, brother, yeah, is um uh, is a is a director. Mm -hmm. You know, I did like Golden Girl. I think it was one of his uh, um, uh, I hands down, ben a really great yeah. Ben Affleck. Director, yeah. Yes. Well, that was a good movie. And, and uh, the town and Argo, but Kelsey, Casey Affleck, he's being like accused or so, getting a lot of word. Well, uh, I sexual think, assault. Well, I, sexual well, I think like the issue is, is that you know, you know, dealing with Hollywood. Yeah. Right. There is, you know, a point when it comes to um, situations like this. If a person of color have done it, you 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 are oh, yeah. shunned. Oh, you yeah. know. Why do you so think I think even, that's one of the issues that and that's been, that's been that's been the thing since the fucking beginning of the, the I guess the industry. It's not even of color. It's like sexuality too. I mean, if you think about like '94, when Tupac supposedly touched this chick's butt. In a club, he got he served like three years in jail for that shit, you know. And now Casey right. Affleck comes out and he's accused of sexually well, harassing women on well, set, no, telling other dudes to whip it up, you know. You know, no, no, no. It's not a, it's not an accusation. It's a fact that he was doing a movie. I forgot the name of the movie. And, I'm still here. Uh, what is it? I'm still here. Oh, I'm still here. Great movie though. And Joaquin Phoenix, fucking. And um, so basically, him and um. You know, he got the crew members. It's only two females, yeah, right? It was fucked like, up. Right, fuck, fuck the, up. like the director and another person, right? Casey Alex, like get your shit um, together. Uh, and, and this whole crew, and he basically just sexually harassed them. You know, having the crew like members, you know, talking about whip out your, you know, whip out your penises. You know what I mean? And yeah. you know, belligerently just talking. Calling women cows and you know, shit. What's wrong with you? You know, or touching them. And I just feel like you know that makes a hostile working environment. You know, if if you're the only female in a, you know, in a group. I mean, even even, you know, even when I was promoting, I was like one of like the very few you know females out, you know, out of other females, but not where yeah. you know. So you when people so, saw you, so you, balls. you know, so you get people who are just like you know that don't respect women. Yeah. Clearly doesn't respect women, and he's able to tell his crew members, oh. Well, Crap around him and show him your penis, and then he's touching you, and then you're like, "Oof, why are you touching me?" It just oh, reminds me. It it's, just, it's okay. Let me just keep touching you, and then you're like, "Okay." So it forced one of the crew members to to, you it, know, to it leave. It just reminds me of like the whole, you know, Woody Allen fucking um, Roman Polanski shit. You exactly. know, and that's what exactly, and that's that's how and, I feel like, and like Hollywood were, is basically doing it. And, 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 and it's just clearly like, okay, Roman Polanski, right, was. Accused? What? Wasn't he found guilty of raping a young woman? And then he fucking leaves the and country, and Hollywood sweeps him under the, right. the carpet like you know what never what I mean? happened. And, 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 and Woody and, Allen and, with his fucking 
daughter. You know, molesting or, his daughter is or, so gross. And, 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 and he ends and, up and, marrying her? And marrying her, but here is, is, is was it Nate Turner, right? Is Nate Turner? Yeah. Is his name? I think right? so. Um, he does, you know, um, no, Nate Parker is his name. Nate Parker does a movie. He was accused and acquitted, right? So some woman accused him back in the day mm -hmm. when, you know, he was in college, right? And then... You know, he was acquitted, so he was found not guilty, right? I did not do it, you, whatever, whatever's clever, and he does not get the recognition that he deserves, he does not, you know, people are protesting, right? Don't go to his movie, he's a rapist. Negative. He was acquitted, so he did not do it, you know? So it's kind of like one of those same situations, like, even with, um... You know, like, okay, um, who's that? Cosby, right? He yeah, was, like, you know... Found, you know, accused of, you know, he was accused of doing these horrible things, right? But then there's people who were found guilty of doing the same thing, right? But their name are not being dragged into the mud. And that's my problem. Listen, you, if you're going to drag my name into the mud, you better drag everybody else. Drag them and they should also not have the opportunities, be, be awarded the opportunities and you know, and you know, in the same way, yeah. and I think that's that's the issue with 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 Hollywood world in general. I think that was like 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 what they were saying that you know you know Ben Affleck's brother is a sexual predator, like our president, like to grab women, like to grab women in the pussy, and think his shit is so fucking okay, right? And all you gotta do is tell them now. They like it. Ick. No, mm -hmm. I don't want no random stranger telling me down the street. Oof. I'm gonna have to call you know. You know, I'm gonna say like, you make a terrorist threat, 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 threat against my life right now. You know, so um, I never, you know, I didn't see the movie, and I'm not gonna support well, the movie. Well, no, I mean, I'm still here. It's a great movie. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, but did, why did, is it a great did Casey uh, direct it, or was he just an idea no. behind it? I don't think Casey directed it. I don't care. I think he was just. He was he an was actor. Just, no, it wasn't even acting. It was only um, no, he was an actor. River Phoenix. Well, he wasn't acting in the movie though. He was just in the movie for like two seconds, really. Oh, well, um, so the actor credit. So, so um, the the main story is of I'm Still Here is uh, basically when ba uh, River Joaquin Phoenix uh, told like told the industry uh -huh. that he was quitting acting and becoming a rapper and basically made everybody in Hollywood crazy because he's a he's a great actor. He he was in the movie Her. Okay. Um, he was the villain. I didn't see that. He was a bad guy in The Gladiator. I like he. That. Yeah, he, he was just been in a, a lot of. Well, I just kind of feel like award-winning movies. If, but 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 here's my thing, right? So you you an actor and mm -hmm. other actors in this movie, and this person is sexually harassing, right? Another crew member, another member. You, I kind of feel like you're somewhat responsible. Because yeah. if you are unable to say, listen, that shit ain't right, I'm not about that, you know what I mean? And walk away, and you don't say anything to kind of stop the harassment, you are part of the problem. If you're the only two well, females, and you are constantly being berated, and you're being disrespected about your space, and you, you know, and you say, hey, I don't like that, and then you're having sex in my room, and you're touching me, and you're pulling your cock out, and all this stuff, it doesn't matter. <laughs> At the end of the day, if you... You are an actor. Another actor mm -hmm. is seeing this happening, and you don't say nothing. You're part of the problem. Well, you're obviously, part of yeah, the problem. you're part of the problem. But then you got to think about the situation of what, where they were at and what was, well, because it was a mockumentary. A lot of the time, uh, Joaquin Phoenix was on the other side of the camera. Well, he was the only person on the other side of the camera. So right. just because the, a lot of times when you're on the other side, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, I'm sorry. We, she just like hello. We're Did you not talking. see I'm my sorry. hand? This is going hello. on. Hello. I'm waiting for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't see it. I was getting all involved right we were, here. We, were, we talking. were just talking. And I forgot right. all about the fans too. I forgot about you guys. Right? We were just like having a regular conversation with this is, you know, but I'm I'm sorry. You're still talking. Well, I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But um I guess we wanted to take a break because my producer is trying to figure out as to why I cannot follow directions. And we'll talk the about this up. during the break because you know, this has like nothing um, to do with it. But okay, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, right, so, yeah, we're, we're pretty talking. much done. 
Right, we're done for the evening. To be continued, maybe they'll have you back on and you'll figure out where we were heading with this whole Casey Affleck. Right, well, Casey um, Affleck, you know, get what Casey Affleck, you suck. You and suck. You, and you like to just, you know, harass women. And you're, you and you have women issues, mommy issues possibly, because your brother's not like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your brother is sitting there groping women and talking women all kinds of crazy. I mean, you know, oh my God, that movie was trash, <laughs> or it's gonna be trash. But anyway, well, I don't think it's gonna be trash. I have respect for Ben Affleck. You know, um, now with the but, Suicide Squad, they fucked it up, but I don't think it was Ben Affleck. Uh, ben yeah, no. <laughs> another but, episode. <laughs> another episode, but. Um, hint, hint, they have to bring it back on this bitch. Um, right, hint, hint, hint. Um, but definitely, thank you for you know hanging out with us. Thank you for filling in for um, my the other guy who? who don't matter who was who? his name. Um, definitely, we got some events coming up in April. We're going to most likely be at another fashion show. I may not be in it. I may be in it. You know, so we're at a film festival. Oh, that's right. Possibly. We're definitely. Um, you know, we have a couple submissions that hopefully you guys are going to be part of. Yeah, so we're going to be, you know, hopefully be there for that. And definitely, um, I know that you guys have been hitting us up, you know, to, to be on the show. And, you know, you got music and definitely I'm going if to you're in Orlando, else. If you're in Orlando or the Florida area and you want to be on the show and just talk about whatever you do and have an input in, you know, you know everything, culture. Everything, you know, whatever you guys, you know, we definitely... We're definitely going through the emails now, so we, you know you guys are gonna be seeing some you know some, some guests. Um, but definitely hit us up at rcbtalkonline at gmail .com. and you know just you know just let us know. We you know I do review it and I kind of just you know I'm very no that's not gonna work out. But definitely if, and I if like you're it, worth it, we'll let you decide the topics or they'll decide <laughs> the topics. I'm just why am I acting like I'm part of the show now? Right, I you know you so basically awesome just right moved now. in. You know, just, so definitely, so definitely send us an email. Check us out. Check it. You know, check us out. RSVTalk.com. Head us up on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. You'll see us um, out in the streets more. Definitely, you know, say hi to me. I'm, I'm not gonna bite you. You know. I might. Ooh, girl. No. <laughs> very, you know, very. Uh, what's his name? Gray. Jean Gray. What's his name? Jean Gray. Oh no. Uh, no. What's his name? Christian Gray of you. You know. Oh, you know, there's a lady. Okay, wait. One more thing. So there's a lady, right, that does a bite massage. I heard about that. Isn't it like... What if the person has like back knee? So, oof, oh my Ooh. god, right? Think about so that. basically yeah. what happens is that, Speed you know, she basically lay you down like a regular massage and she's biting you. What if it's like some dude with a hairy back? What if he's like, I'm... Uh, not to be very... First of not all, to be ser 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 not I stereotype, don't want, but what if he's Greek? I don't like, want your nasty, <laughs> unfamiliar mouth on my body. I don't, you know... Let's just say that you do like three or five, ten people a day. Ugh. Oof. Oof. Isn't that enough mouthwash? But again, but then like when you think about it, is it isn't it just as bad as like, you know, if there's a lot of women out there who just sucks a lot of penis, right? It's kissing you, it's kinda of like the same thing. You know, if you don't know her track record, right? It's you know, out of sight, out of mind. What's the waiting period in between? I don't know. But just to let you guys know, the information is definitely on our fan page. So if you want your back bitten. Right, if you're into that, um, definitely hit her up. And uh, you have her information on the page. It's on the page. Why? Because I figured there's people who out there who like to get their back bitten. I don't know. It's interesting, you know. But definitely check get it out. Get a girlfriend. <laughs> if you like that shit, get a fucking girlfriend. Or get a boyfriend. Yeah. You know, let him bite your back. You know, but definitely. But anyway, check you out, guys, next week. And Not me, because I won't be here, but... You know, it's yeah. possible. possible. And uh, don't forget to check out you know, our website, our email. You know, send us an email, and I will see you soon. Awesome! Awesome! See ya!